Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we will learn how to export data from salesforce.org and how to delete records using the data loader. Let's quickly know what a data loader is. What is a data loader? Data loader is a client application for the bulk import or export of data. Use it to insert, update, delete, or export Salesforce records. When you import data, the data loader reads, extracts, and loads data from comma-separated values files or from a database connection. When exporting data, it outputs CSV files. Now let's perform a delete operation using a data loader. Firstly, you have to open the data loader, and click on export. After that, you have to select your org, whether you want to export records of production or sandbox. For example, I am selecting production, because I am working on my Salesforce org. Then click on login and enter your username and password to log into your org. Now you have to select which object's record you want to export. To do that, type your object name in the search box. For example, I am exporting data of account object, and select it. After that, click on Browse and give a name to your file. Then click on Save and click Next. Now, there is an option to choose the query fields below. Select the ID field from there. Now click Finish, and then a pop-up message will appear. Click Yes. Then it will show a pop-up message for Operation Finished. Click on OK. Now we have extracted all the record IDs of the account object. Now, if we have to delete the extracted file that we exported from account object. To do that, simply click on the Delete button in the data loader, and again select Account Object, and then click on Browse. After that, select the file that we have exported. Now, click on Create Edit Map, then click on Auto Match Fields to Column, and then click on the OK button and click Next, and then Finish. Now, a pop-up message will show for warning. Click Yes, and the delete process will start. When it is finished, it will show how many records have been deleted and how many records are throwing errors. For example, in my case, there are 37 successful deletions and 15 records throwing errors. So, that's it for this video. See you soon in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the bell icon to get the new update. Thanks for watching.